Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode we finally got started with uh, revoking our domain county back from our claimant to Sweden, now the King of Sweden of course. Uh, so this is going fine, obviously we are sieging our target county, we're sieging his capital over here, and we're pursuing what I think is the majority of his army that he has landed over here. Okay, we have a betrothal, or a marriage, actually. Um, I'm gonna raise Wales' army, which I don't think I've done yet, to reinforce this, because it looks like he's gonna be at full morale by the time we actually catch up with him. So the extra numbers will probably be useful. Uh, oh, he's getting onto the boats over here. Hmm, I see. Well, I don't think we're actually going to catch him. Yeah. He's sailing around. Alright, well, if he decides to land his troops back here, I will fight them. He does have a small army over there in Ireland. Oh, he is landing them back up here. Well, that's fine. We're uh, in the hills here. He does have a slightly outnumbered, but yeah, he's not even trying to attack us. So he's in Lothian, which I believe is Plains. There is a river crossing from here, but we'll just go around by Dunbar. And he doesn't even have commanders in charge. Alright, well, we'll pursue him again. Hopefully actually catch him this time. You have failed to squeeze any extra taxes out of the population in Gary, okay. Instead have raised the revolt risk. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we have caught his army. We did cross a river to do so. But it hasn't made much of a difference to the battle. Up to 63% from that. Well, we'll follow him again, I suppose. He is headed to... Oxford. Then Bedford. Where we will catch him. So from the King of Aragon, uh, during your wife's recent visit to Barcelona, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. Yeah, okay. We're getting a lot of these uh, friendly packs with people from various wives and husbands going visiting. Which is fine with me. We captured a duke. Probably retreating up to here? If I had to guess. England has usurped a barony and a county. Okay, he got the county of York. Which is fine. Uh, Westmoreland, unfortunately, under Ireland, but uh, I guess we'll just ignore that for now. Okay, and England is much happier. Uh, let's see. I guess Jerusalem is the vassal we should be working on. With our Chancellor, Moray is not happy either, but... Jerusalem, obviously, is more powerful, or at least I assume so. A pretty wench is throwing herself at you. Hmm. We can say that we can't resist her, or... We can say, mind over body, mind over body, and become chased. Well, I think we'll just try to become lustful. 
That seems fine. Life spent in the arms of another is a life spent well. I've gained the lustful trait. Okay. So just an increase to our fertility and intrigue. Which is fine. If it helps, with, if it helps us have uh, some more genius children with our wife, that would be great. Okay, haven't quite sieged every holding here. One more to go. Alright, Benevento has been converted. Uh, let's see, there is another county over here as well. So we'll recall our chaplain from improving opinion with the Pope and send him there instead. Pope is pretty happy with me. We did join the uh, short-lived crusade. Kind of a waste of a crusade, really, but I suppose there's nothing we can really do about it. I don't think we're really going to catch this army before it loses this battle, but that's okay. I don't think it's really relevant at this point. I guess we'll keep chasing him. Alright, we have his whole capital county siege and we're up to 97% now. And you have annoyed this Baroness. Okay. I don't care. Not my direct vassal. We've wiped out that army. We'll just send our army back up there. Actually, we're at 100% now, so we can just end the war. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to... No, wait a second. This is going to be my land again in a second, so I'll just be able to disband them where they are. So we'll just enforce our demands. Except we can't. None of King Sven's holdings are occupied by King Cornell. Is he in some other war that's relevant here? Pomeranian War for the Kingdom of Sweden. Ah, I see. So which holdings of his are occupied? Let's see here. So he doesn't seem to have any land outside of Sweden, none down here or anything. So these are all occupied by me. These also are occupied by me. I don't see any other occupations. Oh, up here? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well... don't think we can actually siege that back for him. I don't think we're hostile to Pomerania. Oh, we are. Okay. Good, good. Uh, let's just land 6.7k supply limit. That's pretty rough. There's Pomerania's army. Well, if we just take back these two holdings... Then we can end this war immediately. So I'll just land the whole army over there and accept the attrition. Rough as it's gonna be. If we even take any. Since we can 
assault these near instantly. Okay, now we can enforce our demands. This should end the Pomerania War as well. And then we can just disband this before we take any attrition. Okay then. So that's that taken care of. We now have our rightful holding back. Uh, up to 9 out of 9 on our domain size. I guess we have counties or holdings somewhere outside of our capital duchy. Is that correct? Oh, we have Desmond. Yeah, okay. Well, we may as well hold on to it, since we have the capacity. And you've stolen us some technology, which is great. And in fact, we can invest in a technological advance. So, the next level of castle infrastructure will get us access to Castle Town 6, which... I think is probably worth doing, even with the large ahead penalty. will allow us to spend our money on upgrading these. At least in the capital. Has not yet spread to the adjacent counties, of course. That's okay. Let's build some cheaper stuff over here. Uh, I guess we'll upgrade the shipyards. Well, we're a bit low on money at this point, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Alright, King Roderick of Jerusalem is happier. He still thinks he wants to be on the council. We don't really have a spare seat for him. He's not great at anything. Oh, we do have an advisor slot, actually. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any reason to use that for now. We also have two loyalists on the council still, which is good if we want to try to pass any laws, which I kind of do. We didn't quite get to pass the full status of women law with our last character. So I think we just need to buy one favor to get this through. Seems reasonable enough. Young Rory has finished his education in stewardship. I notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Excellent. He becomes Midas touched. And he seems to think a lot about justice, fairness, and righting the many wrongs in the world. So we can have him lose brooding and gain just, which would be pretty good, I think. Quite a good character, actually. Alright, we'll call in our favor. Um, can we, can we not? Call in council support. He's already influenced by a favor. He's not, though. Hmm. That's weird. Well, at least he is good at reinforcing troops. I suppose I could try buying a favor from a different character. Who else is voting against currently? Uh, the Duke of Sicily is probably going to be the cheapest one. Uh, 
Eh, not exactly cheap. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see if we can do that in a little while. On a lark, I decided to travel among the common folk incognito with but a friend, a servant, and a bodyguard. As we ride through a forest, an arrow suddenly sprites from the neck of my trusty guard. Shouting a warning, I ride like crazy to get away and manage to outdistance the bandits. Amateurs. Okay. Sicily has left the defensive pact. And we can invest in military tech. Hmm. Let's catch up in some of these combat techs. Uh, my prisoner is complaining about his dark cell. Well, we'll let him rot, but also we'll try to ransom him. Can't afford it. Okay. Well, we'll just let him rot in that case. Alright, so, um, I don't really want to go to war until I get this law passed. I mean, I can only assume that he was influenced by a favor, and then the influence got removed because that character, I don't know, died or something? Did somebody on my council die recently? It just has to actually run the duration of the thing before it is possible to call in a favor again from him. Anyway, King Callum of England claims that King Roderick of Jerusalem is attempting to promote vile heresies. How should I use this information? Well, he is still in factions. Of course, our king of Sweden is upset now because we took that county back. I gave him a whole kingdom, but no, he's all bent out of shape about one county. Anyway. Uh, so we can threaten him with exposure to keep him out of factions. I'm not sure that's really a good idea, though. We could appoint him as advisor, and that's a sure way to get him out of factions, whereas this could just end up annoying him further. So we'll keep it to ourselves for now. And I'll keep an eye on the Earl here. I promised my wife that I would find a suitable ride for her when her mare had to be put down. Now I'm in luck. Not only one, but three different mares have been brought to Gary. So we can buy the most expensive one and she falls in love with us, or we could say no. I don't know what skewbald means, but it sounds bad. So sure. Fifteen gold is not really that much. Can we call in your council support? Still no. I've received a request for additional funds from my spy master. He is worried that it is too easy for spies to make their way inside your home and wants to take precautionary measures against hostile operations. Hmm. I can afford 137 gold. My prisoner is complaining. Well, if we can ransom him, we will. Uh, Sinai has declared a du jour war on one of my other dukes, alright. I guess that's fine. And King Roderick is happier, good.
Uh, form alliance offer from the King of Aragon. Mm, sure, why not? Somebody else has declared on Duke Edwin of Cairo. Seems like a bad day for him. So how are you doing, Aragon? You don't have all of your du jour land. Um, our spymaster presents a strange concoction to me. He places a peg on my nose and forces me to drink the vile concoction while mumbling something that this will help keep away the forces that lurk in the shadows. Uh, this doesn't seem like something I want to do. We get bad breath giving us minus two diplomacy. My mouth reeks of garlic. That was not worth 137 golds. Oh, we have converted Apulia to Catholicism though. Which is good, and I think we probably don't have any other counties that need converting. Nothing up here or anything. Nope. Then instead we'll send you off to improve religious relations. Alright, let me just check this guy one more time. I guess we could just fire him from the council and get somebody else who we can actually call in a favor on. Or maybe I'll try reloading the game in case that has something to do with it, because I think it's been at least the duration of a favor, if it is like one that's held over from a previous one that he had. Anyway, we will check it out next time. For now though, thanks for watching, and join me again then.